Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, hi, my name is Elsa and on my channel you'll find what I eat in a day, bullet journaling videos, vlogs, and just other random videos. But I hope you'll subscribe to stick around because we have such a good time on this channel. Um, but I cannot believe that it's almost October, we're starting to think about October, and I can't believe that September is already almost done, and time has just flown by, but I really hope that in this video you will get some inspiration for your own bullet journaling, and yeah, so this month I went with a very fall theme, like style for my spreads, so that was really fun, I got really into the fall vibes, but I really hope you're doing well in whatever you're doing, whatever season you're in, and yeah, without further ado, let's set up our bullet journal for October. For my journal, I'm just using the Midori A5 gridded notebook and I absolutely love it. I had the blank one previously, but the gridded paper just makes drawing lines so much easier. Uh, here, I just printed out and cut out some pictures that I found online. I went for a fall theme for October, so lots of pumpkins, candles, warm beverages, leaves, and cozy sweaters. I like printing out a variety of images so that I have a lot to choose from when designing each spread. Here's my pencil case, and if you're interested to know what all is in my pencil case, I'll leave that video in the cards as well as in the description down below. But here I'm just taking this black marker and writing out the word October in bubble letters at the top of the page. And I'm also gluing in this super aesthetic fall picture. It is so pretty with all the leaves and scenery. I can just imagine myself walking there. And I like to add something extra by doodling near the corners of the picture. In this way, it kind of looks like a picture frame. So, at the beginning of every month, I also like to write out some goals I have for myself. I'm also adding a bucket list here because I realized that I have a lot of things I want to do, especially before leaving for college next fall. So, this will just help me to remember the fun things I want to do. I'm really curious to know, so let me know in the comments what some of your favorite fall activities are. Another cool technique I've been doing more recently has been cutting out my pictures. This way your pictures aren't all just squares or rectangles, it just makes things more interesting. And here I'm taking this glitter gel pen to add a few stars, clouds, and a moon to some blank areas on the page. I just like to fill up the page as much as possible. And on the right-handed side, I'm putting in dates for the first three days in October. Because October 1st falls on a Friday this year, I just wanted to do the weekend on one page and then start the official week on Monday the 4th. Once again, I'm just adding some fall pictures for some color. I love pumpkins. I think they're the cutest things ever. I think I've carved one before, but it's been a while. Let me know in the comments whether you guys carve your pumpkins during the fall season. I'm just really curious to know. Here I'm taking this empty washi tape and it's in the light brown color. I know it might not be showing up as brown on this camera but in real life it is brownish. I purchased this washi tape from Jet Pens and if you'd like to see my stationery haul from Jet Pens, I'll leave that video in the description as well. So I always try to fit an entire week onto each spread or two pages. This is great because I feel like I'm not wasting too much space, but yes, if I have a lot of school assignments for that week, it will get a bit cramped, but most of the time, it's okay. I thought this picture was so cute because it literally says October, how fitting. You'll see that I use washi tape a lot on my pictures, and this is for two reasons. First, it keeps the um, edges from flipping up, and second, it just is so cute. I would recommend trying to layer the pictures over some brown card paper because that's so cute and rustic, but unfortunately, I didn't have any at the moment. But if you have brown paper or just like a brown paper sack that you can tear apart, that would be awesome to add to the spread as well. And I also added a little small to-do list because if I don't write something down, I will definitely forget about it. On the next page, I started by adding more fall pictures. One thing I love about fall is all the sweaters and cozy clothing, so I was sure to pick out some of these pictures. Let me know 
if you guys like fall themed drinks like coffee drinks i know some people go crazy for the starbucks fall drinks there's something just so nostalgic about this time of year for me it always reminds me of going to school and high school swim team and finally here i just added this washi sticker i'm not exactly sure what it is but it looks a bit abstract but it's super cool I decided to set aside the next two pages for random lists and such. For me, this works really well because I can write down a master to-do list, gift ideas for people, things I want to remember, etc. I just took some paper and wrote out the words brain dump and I cut and pasted them on top of the page. For the next page, I titled it YouTube ideas and this is where I do my brainstorming for content. I'll write out video ideas and any deadlines I set for myself. By the way, if you have any video requests, feel free to leave them down below and I'll definitely take a look at them. If you've been subscribed since the beginning, you'll know that I have many different kinds of videos on my channel, so I'm totally up for anything you guys would like to see. I just enjoy making videos that encourage others. Anyway, here I'm just doodling around this picture to make it look like a Fujifilm photo. And I think that's a really nice touch. It's just a doodle, so it's not very hard, but it kind of adds a lot to my spread. And then next I have this super adorable anime girl sticker. I love her outfit and I really wish I had that much style, but it's all good. <laughs> For the next spread, I decided to try drawing a ribbon around the title. I just wrote out October and then I drew a rectangle around the word and made a v-shape on each end to make a ribbon. Then I filled it in with marker. Of course, I added some pictures to the page. I really love the Korean style of fashion in that last photo. All the girls are so cute together and I just love their style. It's casual yet sophisticated, which I love love. Um, let me know if any of you would be interested in seeing a fall fashion video from me. I'm slowly but surely getting more into beauty and fashion, so I'd love to make that kind of video for you guys. I also wrote out the days of the week in a different font. Changing up your font is another great way you can make your spreads look more interesting, and it's pretty easy to do. At first, I wasn't good at changing the way I wrote, but after practicing, I learned how to do it. So it just takes practice, don't worry if you can't do it yet. I totally forgot I had this really neat old film washi tape. It's really antique-like and I'm really digging it. It reminds me of watching movies with friends in the fall. Then on top of this, I placed another picture, this time of pumpkins, and I also added a washi sticker. I thought this one was very fitting given the fact we are now in the academic school year. Lastly, I just added a few leaf doodles on the side. It didn't turn out exactly the way I thought, but I'll admit it wasn't too bad. I also outlined the doodles in black so that they would stand out on the page even more. And then I added a few last touches by just adding some washi tape to one picture and that was it for this spread. For the next spread, I decided to leave an entire page for a birthday wish list and ideas. My birthday's in October, so I thought this would be super fun. I'm not trying to be stuck up when I write these things. I just think it's really fun to write down things you'd like for your birthday. And it's great too because sometimes after you write something down, you realize you really don't need that thing you wanted so badly. So for me, it helps me decide whether I need something or not. For the ideas section, it's just a place I can write down things that I think would be fun to do on my birthday, like celebrating with my family, maybe going out to eat somewhere, doing some activity together, etc. I really enjoy spending time with my family. On this next page, I just have the next three days and I added more pictures and the sunset is just gorgeous. And finally, I added more washi stickers. One was a plant and the other was a gem. Because I felt like I needed more color on this page, I decided to outline each day with brown marker and I am all for having pretty colors. I'm curious to know what you all do to celebrate your birthday. Do you mostly spend it with family? Do you have a nice dinner? Do you go hang out with friends? I'm just curious to know what you all do for your birthday. 
I put the last four days of this week on the next page. Sometimes I do this if I want to add extra pages like wish lists, to do lists, etc. I added some pops of color with a picture and sticker. Then on the opposite page, I decided to make a quotes page. I plan to write down any quotes that are encouraging or meaningful to me. One verse I'm really loving right now is Philippians 4 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. This reminds me that I should pray instead of worrying. I also love the phrase, I am enough, because it reminds me that I'm enough the way I am, and I don't have to do certain things to earn my validation, because my validation is in the Lord, and I'm His child. And that's just been such an encouragement to me lately, so I wanted to share that with you all, especially if you're struggling right now. When I was writing out the next dates at the top, I almost wrote 25th through the 26th instead of 25th through the 31st. Don't know what I was thinking here, but let me know in the comments if you guys like dressing up for Halloween. I'm not sure what I want to be this year. In past years, I've been a ladybug, a minion, a doctor, and a robber. And I basically DIY'd everything, which was really cool. So I just made the costumes with things I already had at home, like clothing pieces. It'll technically be my last time trick-or-treating this year, so I really want to dress up and have some fun this year. But I'm curious to know what you guys are dressing up as. Tell me in the comments because your girl needs ideas fast. <laughs> Here, I'm just adding the super aesthetic coffee picture and overlapping it with another picture. This spread kind of looks more vintage to me and I kind of lost a little bit of the orange color but I really like this kind of brown beige color palette. And for the washi tape this time, I cut it down the middle lengthwise so that I'd be left with two thinner strips of washi tape and this just makes it a little different because the washi tape was normally a lot thicker, you know, the width was much thicker. Um, so this just helps change it up a bit. And then I also added some final touches with this glittery gel pen. So moving on to the final page, I set aside this page for an October review slash reflection. I really like writing down things that happened during that month, memories I made, things I did, etc. It really helps me to be grateful for each month because something different always happens. For the reflection page, I actually doodled a piece of paper on the page and I made sure to draw the whole punches on the side for the iconic school notebook paper look. And I also added a little tiny picture to reinforce the fall vibe. And on the opposite page, I made a fall bucket list. In my head, there are just so many fun fall activities that I want to do. So I'll just write them down here. And this fall, I want to buy pumpkins, go for scenic walks, host a bonfire with friends, and just enjoy the season. I ended up using all the pictures I printed out, so that was great. So now I'll show you a little flip through of everything I just did so that you can see what it looks like all put together. it to the end i just want to thank you so so much for watching this and if you found it encouraging or at least helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out on new videos and yeah if you have any video requests make sure to leave them down in the comments and i will take a look at those i'm very committed to making content that you guys want to see so i'm very open to video suggestions but yeah, I really hope this was helpful for you and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!